Hello everybody, so you've just got your hands on a Mavic Mini or a Mini 2, you've unboxed it and you want to get it in the air as quickly and safely as possible whilst keeping the drone police off your back. This video is for you. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, my name's Paul Tace and I said in this video I'm going to take you through step by step how to get your drone uh, safely and legally in the air. So um, the first thing we're going to do once we've got it out of the box is uh, step number one. We are going to read the user manual. Okay, now obviously it's not going to be the best reading material, it probably beats 50 shades of grey, but uh, still it is a legal requirement before you fly your drone that you read the user manual. Okay, so uh, step number two, in fact you could probably do this whilst you're reading the user manual, charge your batteries, get them all ready to go, and make sure they're all 100% charged before you leave. I would also recommend in setting an SD card at this point, it's worth noting this does not come with the drone. Step number three, we are going to log online and register yourself as a drone operator. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, this is going to cost you £9 for the year and by doing this you will get your operator's ID. Now because the Mavic Mini or the Mini 2 has a camera built in, this is going to be a legal requirement linked to privacy. So uh, once you're registered and you've got your operator's ID, you then need to stick this on your drone. So step number three is then going to be getting a sticker, uh, scribbling down your operator's ID on it, making sure it is readable, and then uh, just sticking it on your drone. Now when you do this, it just needs to be in a visible place and clear to read. Um, they do recommend that you don't write on it with permanent marker, because this will likely change every year. Get a sticker, write it on clearly and whack it on your drone, and it's ready to go. Okay, step 3.5. Now, uh, this isn't a legal requirement, although I would recommend just getting a flyer's ID. It's completely free of charge, and again, you can do this on the CIA website. And what this does is it will just walk you through the drone code and give you a faulty multiple choice question exam. I say it's not 100% necessary, but it just gives you a good idea of what you can and cannot do with your drone. Step number four is go into the App Store and download the DJI Fly App on your phone. Uh, you will need a 64-bit phone for this to work, uh, which most iPhones will have. Uh, once you've done this, make sure you log in and register. If you do not register, it will limit your drone to about 30 meters by 50 meters away from you. So uh, just bear that in mind. Step number 4.5, this is going to be downloading the Drone Assist app. Now this is something that's not legally required, but it's something I highly recommend. I've recently found there are some restricted areas that don't show up on the DJI Fly app, but they do show up on the Drone Assist app. So this means you can illegally be flying your drone in a restricted area without even knowing um, if you don't have this app downloaded. Now this nearly happened to me recently, I'm going to do a video about this later, so hit that subscribe button if you're interested. So the Drone Assist app is going to have a lot more information about where it's safe to fly and it's also recommended by the CAA, so um, it's a safer bet of keeping yourself flying legally. So step number five is find a nice open space to fly your drone, check the weather and uh, check it's not a restricted area. And uh, just again, just check over the drone, uh, make sure there's nothing wrong with the propellers and that it's all in working condition. Step number six is make sure the compass calibration is set. Um, you'll get prompted to do this before you fly. Um, to do this, you just have to spin your drone around in the way it shows you on the screen. And while you do this, you just want to make sure you're not near any uh, large metal objects or anything that can interfere with the magnetic field of the drone. The next thing we want to do is set our return to home height. To do this, just hit the menu in the top right hand corner. We then go to safety and then we can set the return to home height. Personally, I would set this usually to about 35 meters uh, because around me, the tallest trees are going to be about 30 meters tall and the extra five meters just gives us clearance. So if we hit the return to home button when we're flying, we know it's going to be clear of all the trees and come back to us safely. We also don't want to set it too high because the higher you go, the windier it will get. So you want to set the lowest possible height you can get back without hitting any obstacles. Step number seven, we're going to be ready for the test flight. We're just going to check to make sure there's no uh, groups of people around or anything that's going to be dangerous if the drone hits it. And it's also a good idea to make sure there's no planes or manned aircraft in the air as well. So once we're happy, we're going to put the drone into the air about three meters off the ground and we're going to try all the joysticks, making sure the drone is given the correct response. But when you do this, you just want to make sure there's no unusual behavior, make sure it's not smoking or bobbing around by itself. It's more than likely going to be fine and then we can come down and land it. 
So step number eight is going to be our flight. So we're going to take off and again we just need to make sure we're obeying the drone code. Uh, so if you did do the test at the beginning to get your flyer's ID, you will know all the laws that are going to limit your drone. Um, just going over these quickly now, it's going to be you have to have visual line of sight of your drone at all times. They're not allowed to go above 120 meters above ground level. Or you have to keep away from crowds of people and you're not allowed to fly in restricted areas. But the most important thing when you're flying is that you're just not doing anything dangerous and you're keeping the people and property around you safe as well as your drone. And step nine is just checking the drone over, making sure it's clean, it hasn't hit any bugs. If it has, just, just wipe them off the propellers, uh, folding it down nicely and safely, and making sure you pack it away without bending the propellers. Okay guys, so in my opinion, this is gonna be the quickest way to get your drone up uh, safely and legally, and uh, make sure you're not breaking any laws so you can fly with a peace of mind. Okay guys, so there are other things you can do to keep your drone safer and there's more knowledge to have, like uh, knowing more about the weather and the wind and uh, how flying over water will affect your drone would also be really useful. So it might be worth watching some other videos just to gain some more information and to have some more confidence when flying. But that's it for this video now guys. If you found it useful, hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator and I hope to see you in the next one.